We move to other parts of the country and as since Central MP Kennedy Japan has petitioned Chief Justice Kwesi Eniyabwa alleging that the judge hearing his contempt case will be biased if he proceeds with it. He therefore wants the case to be halted. The legislator risks a possible jail term or fine should he be found guilty of contempt. High Court Judge Amos Wooney dragged the MP before him, demanding that he justifies why he should not be severely punished for comments made regarding a pending case the court deems to amount to contempt. We'll go to that story a bit later now. About 20 persons have been arrested by the combined police military team deployed to ensure the protection of lives and property at Japan in the Volta region following the blockage of Japan and Kwon roads by persons believed to be members of the Western Togoland Separatist Group, the Homeland Study Group. Now, the group wants the Volta region to be an autonomous country known as Western Togoland. Members of the secessionist group in the early hours of today blocked major entries into the Volta region. Most passengers traveling to areas in the Volta region, including Tifle, Chopoli and Japon, were left stranded as a result of this development. Uh, Sogakope, this is the Sogakope barrier. Uh, immediately you cross the bridge. This is it. Uh, all the cars from the Aflau stretch or the Sogakope township headed towards, towards Accra uh, have, have had to pack. They have had to, to, to pack because uh, ahead of them, Duver, Kotame area, that is where the Western Togoland guys uh, have, have, have blocked the route. So no car is able to proceed beyond the, the barrier which is just before the, uh, the bridge. Uh, I was spoken with a few guys and they have indicated that the police are even, even helpless. The, the police do not want to uh, disperse the crowd by, by, by shooting uh, anyone. Uh, so they are just watch, watching them uh, do their, their own thing. But the video you see now, so you can see the cars. The video you see now is at the Sogakope barrier. So if, if, if you can see, you can see. It's a very long stretch, so uh, this is the Sogakope barrier. This position here is, is, is chaotic. All the cars uh, from, uh, from Aflawu, Akachi, Joje, headed towards Accra, are not able to move now. They have all had to park at the Sogakope uh, barrier, or the two-boot uh, two area. The police seem helpless. They seem helpless uh, because the guys from West Western Togoland have blocked the road, I understand, around the Duver Kotame area. That is where the, the blockage has happened. So the cars are not able to proceed beyond this point. So this is it. This is it. Now, the police had earlier urged persons traveling from Accra to Ho, Aveime, Adidome, Mepe, Akuse, and Sogakope, and Aflao to be cautious on such roads due to heavy vehicular traffic. Now, the police in a Facebook post said, Good morning, Ghana. Commuters to and from Accra to Ho, Aveime, Adidome, and the towns I have named are likely to experience heavy traffic due to security operations within those areas. Now, my colleague Maxwell Agbagba has visited parts of the Volta region and he has joined us with an update. Now, Maxwell, tell us where you are and what you've observed. Well, um, Daniel, we're just returning from the uh, Mepe. Um, uh, Mepe uh, we're just returning from the Bato um, Hospital, I should say, and that is where the Tong Divisional Commander. Um, and his driver are at the moment that they have been transported from that hospital um, to the um, police hospital here in Accra in an ambulance. And um, actually saw them being carried into the um, ambulance and we are told that uh, they were attacked at this dawn um, by these persons who are believed to be members of the um, separatist group. And we are told that um, the incident happened this dawn and I, I, from where I was standing, um, I could see um, some Masters on your head and other bandages and other things. You know, um, the police team that we met, the counter-terrorism unit, uh, also moved in and they've moved into the Volta region and they quickly moved to the Baton Hospital where they are helping uh, with the transportation of the divisional commander and his driver to the police hospital, you know, um, for further treatment. Um, we are told that the police officers at the Metro Police Station were actually held hostage 
and by some members of the group before they subsequently, you know, um, attack the divisional commander um, and his driver. So as it stands now, um, we are still in the community. We do not. What we cannot confirm is whether or not um, persons who are connected to this attack um, have been arrested. Um, the men on the ground, the uh, personnel from the counterterrorism. You know, units of the Ghana Police Service and then the SWAT team are not willing to give us um, any information. But as it stands now, we are driving back um, to the community where we are told that um, further operations, you know, um, will continue. But coming all the way to the greater region, I mean, there are some point where we saw security checkpoints uh, being manned by soldiers and, uh, and the Navy. And what would happen is that you have um, them uh, quickly do some you know, random checks and ensure that, you know, no unscrupulous persons actually entering mm. um, the voter region. So mm. security really is very tight. We just got to uh, the Method Police Station. I can see two uh, police um, crowd control right. vehicles up mm. here. The team has just stopped here, and they, I'm sure they're going to do an assessment mm. of the situation here, Daniel. Uh, so, Maxwell, um, hold on just a moment for me. Let me go to Kofi Sian, um, who is stationed at Japan. Um, Kofi Siao, related to what Maxwell has said about security is the arrest of about 20 persons. We understand that um, you've been following that part of the story. Kofi, can you hear me? Hello. Great. Hello. Yes, 20 people arrested, right? Yes, yes, that is true. At Japan, if you come here right now, as I speak with you, uh, there is a military truck and the truck is keeping these 20 people. And I cannot confirm whether they are part of the group that caused the disturbances this morning. But what we are thinking is that uh, the police, as part of the operations, were able to you know, arrest these 20 people. So these are suspects uh, we can uh, speak for now. Right. Uh, what have the police been telling us? Well, they have been, uh, they have remained tight lipped on, on the whole incident. They said they were waiting on their superiors to come before they could, you know, come in public to speak about anything. But what we are saying, what we are gathering this morning is that um, they are all around. They are, I can see some military men also passing right now. And so uh, the situation here is that. Uh, there is tight security at, at Japan. Mm, as, as, as has been reported across the, uh, well, on the routes to the Volta region that we use today, uh, do we know anything more about these people who were arrested, Kofi? Daniel, uh, I cannot say anything more about them. Mm, mm, right, right. But I, 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 I want to imagine that they are part of, they are members of this Homeland Study Group um, that has been operating in the Volta region for a while. Um, Kofi, thank you so much for joining us with these updates. Now, a few months ago, there was a critical operation in the Volta region where uh, members who were said to be training for this Western Togoland army were arrested by our military officials and a member of our security desk, Fred Smith, um, was with the team that arrested these persons. So uh, Fred is currently on the line. Uh, we, we know that, now Fred, before you come in, a man with a flag looking like that's displayed by the Western Togoland group hoisted on his motorbike and attempting to cross the Akuse substation to Japan has been arrested. Um, so Fred, uh, tell us more about this arrest, this latest arrest. Well, in the wake of what happened this morning, uh, we uh, understand that the security reinforcement was called in here, and so there's heavy security uh, at the bomb dump site, as I speak to you, the military and the police. In fact, where I'm standing now, there is the formed police unit vehicle uh, with heavily armed officers on that. The Minister for uh, Energy himself, John Peter Amewu, uh, is here and is receiving briefing from the uh, engineers here at Bomb Dam. I understand that the professionist group came very close to this dam and claiming that uh, the land belongs to them and that the land, uh, the dam as well, belongs to them. And so they were taken over. Uh, the police was able to overpower them. These were about six men. But not too far from there, they saw about 20 uh, other people who were also approaching and claiming to 
uh, the owner of the land, members of the specialist group, and therefore the police called in reinforcement, seeing how uh, serious this is. All these things were happening uh, at 3 a.m. Uh, in the night. And the understanding, uh, according to the Akuse uh, police commander, is that they had set fire at the exit point of the uh, dam, and so they needed to step up security, and that's what has resulted in this. Uh, as we speak, the police are saying that the situation is uh, under control uh, because they have security on the ground. Right, and let me just inform viewers that the man in the grey polo shirt sitting uh, uh, by a gutter now on your screen is that man who has been picked up. Fred. So what you, mm. what you see there is mm -hmm. actually on top of the dam itself. That, that's how close uh, this man got to. Oh. Uh, he was searched, but uh, he didn't have any weapon at the time uh, the search was conducted. Uh, so uh, he picked up together with his motorbike and the flag he had hoisted on it. So, Fred, um, and you have seen these people's military, in quotes, in, in training before. It looks like this was a coordinated attack to annex the, the, the power plant and then go ahead to um, uh, block the region from entry. Yes, indeed. Uh, you recall that in February, uh, I was in the Volta region uh, in a thick forest where they, uh, they are uh, young men they have recruited uh, to train as the military uh, were, uh, were, you know, disbanded and were right. also arrested. Right. We, right. Uh, we know that they have also displayed uh, videos and photos showing some other people who have been trained uh, to be part of their military uh, that our security did not get hold of them and uh, well i've just got into the location where they bent tires so that's not too far uh, from the dam at any not right. too far so about uh, a mm. two minutes walk from the dam itself oh that's how close they came fred smith thank you very much uh be careful out there and we would come back with more details of this story when we've gathered more